How's it going, Warrior Rising family? I'm Alyssa. I am the Director of Marketing and Media for Warrior Rising. And here we hear the many voices of veterans that make Warrior Rising the premier place to be for veteran entrepreneurs. And today we absolutely have a treat from the Iowa cohort in 2024. We have Brandy Vega with Dan Can. So welcome, Brandy. Thank you. I'm excited to be here, Alyssa. Absolutely. So this is kind of like those exclusive takes on your experience, what you're doing for everyone to listen that couldn't that, that wasn't able to hear the pitches. So obviously I was in there. It was incredible. So like kind of that behind the scenes look for everybody. So first off, let's get into it. How, how was your experience in Iowa? What did you take away from that? I took away friends. I took mm -hmm. away contacts. I took away some confidence. It was just a, a combination of everything good. Awesome. I love to hear that. So explain to everyone who doesn't know what Dan Can is. How did you come up with the name and what is it? It's funny, I was trying to come up with the name for the company and I was just brainstorming with my husband mm -hmm. and we came up with Dan Can. And Dan Can, it's digital, I'm ARMY, I love yep. acronyms. So yep. I was like, okay, well, Dan Can, Digital Authentication Network, Certified and Non-Negotiable. Dan Can, in, in a world with AI deep fake manipulated and synthetic media, unfortunately, we're moving to a point where you can no longer believe anything that you hear, see, read, and it's hard because when I joined the military almost 30 years ago and, and in, in 2011, when I watched the Twin Towers collapse, I was mm -hmm. deployed overseas and I was running a broadcast team. I was a broadcast journalist in the army and public affairs. We went and we watched the towers unfolded we, or collapse. We watched this whole terrorist attack mm -hmm. unfold. And I remember Tom Brokaw saying, America's now at war. And I could believe what he was saying because I was seeing it with my own eyes. Now we had an incident last year where there was, you know, a, a manipulated photo on the Pentagon that caused the stock market to drop like a hundred billion dollars or something ridiculous in this amount of time. We saw just a, a month or so ago, another company lost 25 million to a deep fake. So they even held this deep fake detection challenge saying, well, AI, is incredible. It's an amazing tool that's going to make a lot of lives easier. There's so much good. There's the opposite of that. There's a lot of bad that's terrifying where it will manipulate everything. And so there was this deep fake detection challenge where they got the world's best people from around the world, 2000 people competing for wow. a million dollar grand prize. The whole point was to spot the deep fake videos. They went through this with leading global experts who specialize wow. in this. And this was a few years ago. It was put on by Meta and some of these other big companies, Microsoft, and the number one winner got 65%. And it's only wow. gotten harder and harder to determine what's manipulated, what's fake. So in a world where you can't tell, we authenticate content for companies and individuals. We authenticate the content before it's released. It's verified if anybody edits it, a pixel, a frame, a period in a sentence, wow. any metadata, our tech will show this file is no longer valid. It's been altered. So, you know, reputation management, financial schemes, fraud, blackmail, sex torsion, you talk about that. It's going to come to a point in time where a business or industry says, you can't believe any of it. All of our verified authenticated content is here. You can drag and drop with our authentication tool. If it's valid, it will show. Otherwise, don't believe it. And, you know, like Alyssa, you do media and marketing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you're looking at this. It, it really is hard, especially for my parents who are boomers to say, you can't trust anything. Like mm -hmm. your number one impression has to be distrust and you prove trust before you had trust and you tried to disprove it. Now you disprove everything and you have to prove it. It's just really switched. Yeah. I mean, being in the AI world, it's like, oh, this is so cool. Everyone's making avatars and themselves. You can be anyone. And now it's, you know, it's obviously evolved and we knew it was going to be a problem when it first started surfacing. Yeah. It thinks faster than us sometimes, you know, it's like quick. So what challenges yeah. did you, did you face when you were actually starting up your business? So I, you know, I worked in TV news for quite a while. I was a news reporter. I worked as an anchor, a shooter, editor, I kind of done everything. And so I've seen media evolve over the years. Then I almost lost a child to suicide. And as we dug into the reasons behind it. And there's never one single sole reason. Mm -hmm. I started running my nonprofit promise to live.org and, and we started going through it and I dove in and I discovered that a lot of what led to her depleted mental health at the time was 
political propaganda, misinformation, wow. all of this stuff. And I was like, wow. So here I am working in an industry where we do video production and media. I'm creating content all the time. I'm, I've done um, reputation management. I've tried to seek for truth and light and I found it slipping away and I found it contributing to the problem. I found it leading to potentially down the road to suicide, especially in cases of sex torsion and blackmail and fraud and all these schemes because they infiltrate your social media and then they either you give them a, a photo you shouldn't have, or they put your face in a photo that they edited like they've done with mm -hmm. Taylor Swift and a lot of other big celebrities, but they're doing it with individual people and then they're extorting you for money. So people's mental health, trust, and, and we're losing them. So that was kind of crossing my mind is how do we fix this? How do we fix this? What can we do to bring truth, trust, and transparency to light? Because it's scary. And that's what we focused on with dancan.ai. If people want to look at that and see what we're doing, it's yeah. again, it's virtually impossible to tell what's fake, but we can a hundred percent tell what's real. And we've been able to do this amazing technology. Um, and, and the best part is I met my team doing the mental health and suicide prevention work. So it's like good things come when yeah. people are working hard to bring light. And so we connected and we said, here's a way we can make this work and we're making it work fast, affordable. And it's just, it, it's amazing. So it, it really is. I mean, it is kind of scary times and thinking about like bad people are always going to find ways to do bad things, but how yeah. do you see, how do you see Dan can evolving? So there's a lot of evolutions in this. Actually, our first step is probably going to be combat piracy just because okay. there, there's going to be early adapters who are coming into um, understanding why it's important to authenticate all of our content. And we're looking at going straight to businesses who are looking at that. But piracy has been a huge issue and our technology can do the same thing. So we can work with, with large distribution companies like Warner Brothers, Sony, Disney to um, authenticate all of their files. So when they're wow. releasing content, we can work on piracy and track who has the video, who owns it, where it was recorded. They can transfer the data so that we can put a big, huge dent in that. So that's kind of where we're tackling first. Um, yeah. But we're also looking at things like we're working with a social media company who wants to authenticate their users. Our technology has the potential to do so much. It's incredible. I mean, one of the avenues is wire fraud protection. Diplomas, degrees, that's a huge one that gets fraud. Wow. Um, banking. So there's a lot with user identification. We've, we've talked to state and government officials about how do we authenticate um, people and keep something that's really non-disputable, you know, and, and yeah. putting that together. So there's a lot of different options, but we believe our quickest way to market right now is to go in and, and put a big dent in the piracy, which is like 100 billion dollar a year problem yeah no absolutely and i would say even on like small scale too i mean you see copycat pages on you know social medias where you're like well i have to buy this blue check now to verify that this is me but when you report it as someone being you and using your photos of your families and things like that um but that's okay they say that that's okay in these big tech yeah. industries as well which is really interesting to me so i think so having the layers that you have would be really helpful um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And with our digital authentication, like what we're hoping to do is, you know, we can authenticate pictures, video, audio, documents, anything that you're putting online. And here's a staggering fact. Do you know how many photos and videos are posted on social media daily? No. 400 million. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so just imagine, and I mean, I'm one of them, I'm, I'm posting my business and my deals yep. and different things, but, but we can go in there and we can authenticate content. So if people are worried about that, and now you have a, an authentication tool on your site, or we have one that we're working with, that once this gets broader ad adaption, it'll be, is it real? Is it fake.ai? Is it real? Yeah. Is it fake? People can look at that and go back through and check things. But it's this is just the way the world's going. So with the good comes the bad. With the light comes the dark. And our goal is to bring yep. truth, trust, and transparency 100% of the time. And it fits my mission as a mom, as, you know, a wife, as a military veteran, a patriot, mm -hmm. I want the world to be the safe place that I fought for and that our, our forefathers fought for and the people continue to fight for. We want it to be this beautiful 
place of opportunity, but where people know the truth. Exactly. And have those boundaries on, you know, content, but also people's intellectual property. Yeah. So and it's the wild west right now, literally. I mean, anybody can do and yeah. say anything. They can put it out there. We did a dollar. It's a, it, the app cost $1. Yep. We took the governor's voice. We manipulated it. You know, we got a recording of another thing, put it in. It took one minute and $1 and we can make the governor of our state say anything that we want him to say. We can make the president of the United States Ooh. say this. And it's happening yep. with kids and grandparents and with parents and their kids. And so you're getting all these calls. A big part of my passion in this is education because I mm -hmm. hate to see people be taken advantage of and to have this trust because I know what betrayal feels like. Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to feel that. I don't want it to be this whole my word against their word and, and feeling like there's no other source or option when they're being manipulated or betrayed that messes with their mental health. No, absolutely. I would say there was um some video, you know, back when you know, it was like a, a Trump dub and with a bunch of other political figures. And it was a very pretend conversation and it was humorous. But there are some people who believe that that really happened. And yeah. I mean, it's just it's it's like, no, you can just literally take a few snippets of someone's voice and then you can use it to create anything. Well, they did a deep fake with President Zelensky in the Ukraine mm -hmm. and, and it caused death. I mean, yeah. people think that this is maybe fun or playful. Tom Cruise mm -hmm. had a TikTok with 10 million followers that was not him. And while he wasn't super upset, as far as I know, because they weren't doing anything that was really manipulative or dangerous. But mm -hmm. imagine they take that and they say something ridiculous, you know, go do X, Y, Z. That's horrible. Yep. People think that's coming from him because they didn't know. And so we're trying to work also with regulation and figure out that this has to be regulated. And I know Taylor Swift's pushing for it. Um, Tom, who's the other big actor? Otto, Tom Hanks. He's okay. you know, being put in all these different commercials. There's a lot of celebrities and non-celebrities. There's fake obituaries now. Like the scammers are just running oh rampant. Gosh. And you got to question everything and verify the source. It's almost like you have to be face to face to, to genuinely know or authenticate it with Dan can. And, and that helps at least know who said it was the truth, who recorded it as the truth. And if that particular truth that you recorded and authenticated has been altered in any way, we actually talked to a top political consultant. I'm not going to say his name because he's yeah. a friend of mine, but he's consulting people running for president and other big elections. And he's mm -hmm. one of the most sought after in the, in the country. And we told him about Dan can and our technology. And he's like, this is amazing. I said, yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to use it. He's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not oh. using it. I said, why aren't you going to use it? He goes, I'm not using it until I'm forced to use it. Because part of my job is manipulating people and manipulating um. the vote. And I'm good at it. We go in there and we take their videos and we edit them and we, we create basically propaganda. That's my job. It's what I get paid big bucks for is to manipulate votes. Wow manipulate the media and, and he's a top media spokesperson and he's like until the government forces us and, and until the people force us to authenticate our content we're going to keep running because it's working and and that's terrifying i hope people hear that and say what in the bloody heck yeah well, we got to do something about this we need to know who's saying what when because there was another case um recently in an election where somebody released this false video or audio and it was negative against the other opponent. Mm -hmm. And it was a, a day or two before the election. And it was so bad. That person lost the election right after they lost the election. Then they came back and said, Oh, wait, 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 that was a manipulated fake video. Damage is done. Damage yeah. is done when somebody kills himself. Damage is done when somebody loses the election. Damage is done when their millions or or thousands are gone when their reputation is completely depleted. All of a sudden, you come back and you're like, um, "Redo," but that's not how it works. Once it's done, it's done. Once you squeeze yep. the toothpaste, you can't get it back in. Exactly right, and that's it's a it's a scary truth of it. And I understand like his job and everything, and but at the same time, it doesn't mean I agree with it. Yeah. But it's it, I mean, manipulation is a real thing. I mean, they write books on it, you know, manipulation and people that have to use it in, you know, three letter agencies and things like that to persuade, persuade people. And, and I get it in one on one because you're going to find slimy people. Mm -hmm. 
But for crying out loud, when it's coming to our elected officials and we're trying to decide who we can trust with our, our money, our children, our vote, our future, I want some freaking truth and transparency. I want to have trust that yeah. what they're saying is what they really said. I want to have trust that what the media puts out, which I love the media. I worked yeah. in it. Like I have a, a super affinity and it's a hard job, but they need to be verifying the truth too. People need to yeah. know that, okay, I saw this video. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm going to drag and drop it. Oh, this was put out by, you know, Russian mob or, yep. or Chinese, you know, whatever it is. It's like, you've got to look at the source for where it's coming from. And if you go, oh, official White House, oh, this is put out by Bloomberg or CNN or BBC, and you know it's unaltered, that gives you a level of trust and respect for the information that you're hearing instead of just blind, I'm going to believe it. And yeah. we all know people who do that. Yep. There are plenty of them out here that don't know the difference between real and fake. But I know, and I know this has been a little scary, but I think it's education is massively important <laughs> in transparency. But yes. share with us a win for Dan Can so far. What, what is a success story you can share with us? Yeah, well, I last week, not at Warrior Rising, but before, you know, through relationships and through your network, I was able to meet somebody who's leading edge in this space. And they want to incorporate it in their business. Awesome. And so we're, we're pretty excited about that. We've got some other calls coming up. We're really trying to work, um, like I said, in the piracy side. People are very excited about it. We have a few people lining up to invest. We're working out a few details. So I think you're going to see a lot of us in, in the future. So if, if people are wanting to support this and feel it's valuable, they can reach out to me on any of my social media through Brandy Vega um, on LinkedIn or wherever I, I want to join forces with people who want to bring this in. However, that looks like a big part of mine has been, how do we create this community of collaboration? You know, no, absolutely. I was going to say like, how do you implement that innovation from team and other people and community? Yeah. Yep. And, and I think another win is working with this, um, social media company. They're, they're out of California. They're creating this new social media company that has very high standards to eliminate that. And, and we're figuring out a way right now on something where we can ver authenticate all their users. So you know that the users are authentic. We don't have to keep, include their name, but we validate them and verify them before they're on there. So that eliminates a lot of problems because anything that they put out, we know who put it out. And, and again, not like for a tracking, scary, mm -hmm. big brother way. Yeah. But just for truth, trust, and transparency, it won't be released unless it had to be. It can be in the back, but at the same point in time, you know that the source is true. Exactly. I love it. It's like you're, you're the interrupter to, you know, into these, this industry, which I think is incredibly important as, as it's going to continue to grow and foster and do whatever it does, um, having these, you know, interrupters. Um, in the system is going to help a lot, especially with that uh, transparency, like you said, and the trust, because we all want to be able to trust like the things that are out there, but it's, yeah, it's hard. And what's really cool, Alyssa, about the tech too, is we're able to do this in 164 millionths of a second. We can wow. authenticate content so fast that we could be doing millions and millions and millions of authentications daily at a very affordable price. I mean, in, you know, dollar range and we can get it down to pennies depending yeah. and there's things even as sophisticated as you know stamps and and upc codes and different things wow. where we can authenticate so much that the opportunities are endless i would say if anybody's listening to this and they're dealing with an issue that involves tracking authentication validation in any form or fashion reach out to me because my company does all the online stuff but some of our partners are focused on these other things. And I think it's a global problem that we have to solve. And I think we have a pretty good solution. No, absolutely. And I was going to say it's digital right now, just to make it clear. And then, cause obviously there's some other things. I mean, you hear there's yeah. like scammers are getting more and more creative. I mean, they'll have your voice on like a voice message saying, oh, it's like your bank or something. That's a new one that's coming yeah. out and you start, you click a link and it's done. You know what I mean? So yep. all the fake. And, so what you, I'm telling you, can I give one tip for people? Yeah, absolutely. I know it's been kind of scary and it's like, oh gosh, how do we trust or believe anything? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's hard. If somebody's asking you for something or calling you, you need to call the person 
there was a case where the mom's calling the daughter and then the daughter's like, I'm going to call my mom. And, and it wasn't her mom. It was yep. a scammer with the voice. So call the person if somebody's messaging you on the back end, but create a safe word. This is what I've done with my family. I said, we have a safe word. Our safe word is, you know, pick the word that's for you. You find yourself in a situation where you're having a conference. Maybe you have a safe word with your team at work and you say, okay, what's our, what's our safe word? And everybody on your team knows it's, you know, catch up. I don't know. Yeah. And, and so if you're in a situation like with the CFO who frauded everybody, if they would have said, Hey, what's our safe word? If he knew that. Right. So it's just one more barrier. It's not, it's not a fail proof, but for anything you're doing that, that involves that, that's at least one more layer of security. Yeah, no, I absolutely love, I love that. That's a great piece of advice. And I guess to close it out, the last question would be, what is one piece of advice you'd give to any veteran um, going onto their entrepreneurial journey? Oh my goodness. Veterans, you know how to put in the hard work. You've got heart, you have soul, you can do anything you want to put your mind to. There are tools and resources and great orgs out there like Warrior Rising that have communities of incredible people that want to help you succeed. Mm -hmm. And you can, if you made it through boot camp and you made it through your AIT and you served our country, you can definitely make it forward in business. So believe in yourself. Don't give up. Find a mentor. A mentor is the best thing I've ever done the last yeah. five years. Find the people who are doing what you are doing. People you respect, trust, not the ones who say, I'm going to 10X your business. I'm a guru. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Find the people that focus on that. <laughs> the things that are important to you, like faith, finance, family, fun, fitness, fulfillment. Those are the groups that I involve myself with that care about character and care about building you because you gave so much. So just have confidence and reach out, find mentors. There's a whole support system, again, like Warrior Rising. And I'd like to thank Jason and the entire team at Warrior Rising. The services that you guys are providing are great. Um, you just got to know where to look and you got to get involved and you have to put in the work. Believe in yourself. Absolutely. That's a great piece of advice and that confidence boost. But Brandy, we thank you for coming on and everyone listening. This has been another amazing Warrior Voice. And stay tuned for more interviews if you're interested in Brandy's uh, service of Dan Can. You can find it where? DanCan.ai. That's D A N C A N.ai. And awesome. you can find me online at Brandy Vega. Perfect. So everyone, if you're interested, check out those, check out warriorrising.org for, you know, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you're looking to be a partner, you're looking to just get involved or see what we're about. That's where you can find it. But thank you again, Brandy, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Thank you.